coming in from Maharashtra. This is an inside scoop on the next president of the NCP. According to party sources, here are the proposals that are being put forth. Sharad Pawar should continue as the president. A working president should be appointed. Division of responsibilities. Supriya Sule to handle national responsibilities. Ajit Pawar to handle state responsibilities. That's the inside scoop that we're understanding. Vinaya Deshpande is getting us all these details. So Vinaya, after that big announcement of Sharad Pawar wanting to step down as the party president, what are you picking up from sources? What would this mean for the future of the NCP and the people who would have a key role? Uh, well, Nidima, what we are missing uh, about right now is that there are at least two proposals which are being discussed and at least for the first proposal, uh, Sharad Pawar does not seem very amenable. So, for example, the two proposals are that there should be a working president who should be appointed. And secondly, uh, that, uh, you know, the responsibility should be divided. The national responsibility is to be handled by uh, Supriya Sure and the state responsibility is to be handled by Ajit Pawar. Where does this leave Jayant Patil, who is currently the Maharashtra president of NCP? Well, everyone may ask that. And interestingly, he is not present right now in Mumbai, though we saw him yesterday extremely emotional. And uh, he almost cried at that hall yesterday. Uh, as of now, these are the two proposals. If any responsibility, uh, if any decision is taken as per any of the two proposals, it is likely to resolve the issue of uh, the succession plan within the NCP. But as of now, uh, what we are hearing is, uh, and even as we speak, uh, several leaders of the NCP continue to remain present at the YB Chavan Center. In fact, uh, Narhari Dhirwal, uh, who is a senior NCP leader, has just walked out of uh, 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 YB Chavan Center and he's on his way back. Uh, but as of now, even as leaders continue to be around Sharad Pawar, try to convince him about uh, the reversal of his decision, uh, what we are hearing is that uh, at least two proposals uh, which will be discussed, uh, which are being discussed and that uh, decision might likely be taken. But Sharad Pawar seems to have told his cadre that he wants to understand what the mood of Maharashtra is. Uh, he may still hold on for two to three days in order to understand what uh, step he is likely to take ahead. But clearly, these are some of the proposals that are being discussed as of now. Back so, to Vinay, I just quickly want to understand. Yesterday, we saw some very dramatic and emotional scenes when this announcement was made. We also saw the reaction of Sanjay Roth, who actually compared it to Bala Sai, that even he was forced to take his decision back. Is that a possibility, even with the slightest chance, that possibly no, Sharad Pawar would want to take his decision back? Well, as of now, one cannot really say the fact that he has decided uh, to put in uh, his uh, shoes, uh, just to hang in his shoes at a time when he's still around, uh, leading to questions about what uh, the plans of succession uh, will be. I, uh, it is difficult to say as of now if he will take back his decision. These are unprecedented times, uh, really, for the party. And uh, we are seeing that even if uh, there is a huge public sentiment uh, right now uh, which speaks that there should be uh, a, a reversal of the decision. At least speak. If you can see in my camera, Ekvat Khadse has already reached here. He's a senior NCP leader. Uh, he has reached YB Chavan Center. Uh, so as we speak, there are developments happening every minute in the story. As of now, as to whether Sharad Pawar will agree to take back his decision, he clearly seems to be in a mood to wait and watch as of now. Actually. Okay, Vinaya, we leave the conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details. We're shifting our focus.